No matter what circumstances he is in, it is extremely important for a warrior. Because one of the main military commandments, its statutes, is the knowledge that if victory was achieved by dirty methods, then the victory itself becomes dirty, which means it is no longer being considered as one. At least in the northern tradition, it would be completely disregarded. And in fact, in any pagan tradition where the rules of honor and honesty were put above everything else, the algorithm of victory, tried and true, defined by your own self and brought into the world by you, is a true value that must be treasured, because on the one hand, it's a connection to your God, which goes from the top of your head to your toes, from Atman to the physical body, and it is never disrupted. If there is Sawilo, then there is connection, connection to your own God, one that is never disrupted all the way to the physical plane. If this algorithm falls apart, if your victory is achieved by any other means, then the connection to your God will definitely be broken. Perhaps a connection is being re-established or formed with someone else, something that you don't truly need, but the winning algorithm given to you by some other system can possibly be so convenient, so simple and so perfectly obvious. You think yourself a fool for making yourself struggle so much since what your Sawilo contains is so difficult. It's so hard. It happened already when paganism was replaced by a young religion of the white Christ, when those who preached love and good arrived to our lands. And the words seemed to be right. But something happened to the proud warriors who lowered their weapons and stopped fighting for their land, for their women, for their crops. They stopped raising their children to be warriors, but instead started raising them as if they were to become monks. A softened consciousness of a warrior is a ploughed field for the new seeds of ideation. And after this idea came another one claiming that everyone is a slave of God and not his child. People didn't accept this for a very long time, very long. Neither the northerners nor Ross people, other pagan folks, Celts, didn't accept that for a very long time. And the remnants of pagan beliefs didn't really go anywhere. They were almost like seedlings stomped into the ground. They weren't visible. But there was something else growing wild. Sawilo fell apart. The gods remained. People remained but the connection was no longer there. A fiery, penetrating beam of Sawilo was substituted by a cross with different degrees of limitations and preferences. You can't unite with your God through such connection. But Sawilo is back again carrying the words of truth and victory. It re-establishes the connection with your God via the word, as if a verbal spell, via the call, call upon your deity. But those who betrayed once will betray again. You know that. Gods know that. And this means that now you need to prove that your Sawilo will not fall apart, no matter what difficulties you have to face.